Hi, KB. Today, I'm going to read you the story, The Honeybee and the Robber, by Eric Carl. We know that author. He's written The Very Hungry Caterpillar, The Grouchy Ladybug, and now a story about bees and bears. So again, The Honeybee Robber. What does robber mean? Robber means somebody that takes something away from you or takes something that's yours. That's a robber. The Honeybee and the Robber by Eric Carle. He wrote the story and drew the pictures or painted the pictures. Let's get this way. In a hive, inside an old hollow tree, there lived a honey bee. With her lived many, many other bees. And one warm morning, she flew out of the hive saying, let's go gather nectar to make honey. Follow me. So she sang, let's go gather nectar to make honey. Follow me. This is called a moving picture book. That means you can move it. Isn't that cool? So what do bees gather from flowers to make honey? Nectar. Flowers opened their petals to welcome the honeybee. She sipped nectar from the flowers. Sip, 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 sip. We also learned that butterflies drink nectar from flowers too. The honeybee flew from flower to flower gathering nectar. A hungry bird swooped down to catch her, but the honeybee was much too quick for it. Swoop, swoop, swoop. What does bird, what do birds eat too? Butterflies, remember that? Butterflies have to be aware of birds. So birds, sorry, bees and butterflies have to be aware of the birds. And then the honeybee flew to a pond for a quick drink of water. A hungry fish and a hungry frog both try to catch her. But the honeybee was much too quick for them too. I'm too quick. I'm too quick. I'm too quick. By the way, honeybees, remember, the worker, the worker bees or the honeybees are, are the female bees. They're not the male bees or the boy bees. They're the girl bees. A butterfly, hey, this is the hungry caterpillar butterfly. A butterfly fluttered by. Let's play, it said. The bees and the butterfly danced in the sky for a while. Then it's time to go home now, said the honeybee. Flutter, 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 flutter. And with the nectar, she flew back into the busy hive. Where did you find all this nectar? asked the bees inside. Watch me and I'll show you, said the honeybee, dancing and pointing to where the flowers were. Dance, 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 dance. The way that bees talk to one another is by dancing. They can't speak with their mouths like we do with words. Instead, to communicate with the other bees of where she found the most delicious nectar, she has to dance and show them where. So do you see her dancing? And then she crawled past the queen bee and stopped to watch a baby bee as it hatched from its cell. Suddenly, she heard a terrible noise. It must be the robber, cried the honey bee. This is the baby bee being born from the cell. How many sides are on this cell? One, two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, sorry, six size. So it's a hexagon. It was a bear. He was trying to get in and steal their honey. Grr, grr, he growled as he scratched the tree. Can you grr for me as I move this? Grr, grr, grr. Why does a bear want to go inside a beehive? Because bees like honey too. But it's not fair. The bear didn't work to make that honey. He didn't fly around from flower to flower gathering nectar, bringing it back to the hive and making honey. So why should he be able to eat it if he didn't work hard at all? Well, out flew the honeybee and stung the bear right on the nose. Ouch, yelled the bear. Can you say ouch for me as I move it? Ouch, look at his eyes. Ouch, ouch. She was brave enough to face him, even though she's a lot smaller than he is, and stung him right on the nose. And ouch and ouch, he howled as more bees rushed out. The bear ran away as fast as he could, and all the honeybees were safe again. In the hive, in the old hollow tree, was all quiet. It was time to rest. Tomorrow would be another day. Ready? You're gonna say ouch, ouch in a bear voice. Ouch, 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 ouch. And now it's nighttime and they all go to rest. The end. Don't you love that story? I know I do. All right, so now we're gonna make our bee craft. So I need you to go to your craft packet and grab the bee materials. I'll show you what they are. You're gonna need to grab the bee body, looks like this. The bee head. A little square for the stinger. You should have some black and yellow strips. And then the bee's eyes and the wing. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is get these strips of paper. We have yellow and black strips. And what you're gonna do, because eventually your craft is gonna look like this, the honeybee from the story of the honeybee and the robber. So do you see the bee's body? Do you see that there's a pattern? Let's say the pattern together. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow. That's an AB pattern. Well, we got to make these little pieces of yellow and black paper with these strips. So I want you to first get your yellow strip and I want you to tear it so it's about that size. Don't tear it like this. That's way too big. You want to tear it so it's about that size, okay? So we'll do it together. Tear. Tear. So just keep going. Keep tearing, you can do it. This is something you can do. Tear, tear, tear. About this size. Tear. So you wanna tear that whole strip of yellow paper. So they come into little yellow pieces at the end. So it looks like that. Can you see that? Okay. Now, you're gonna, that was for the yellow, now get a black stripe, sorry, black strip, and tear that the same size, about that big. All right, go ahead, start tearing the black strips of paper as well. Tear, tear, tear. Because then we're gonna glue these on the bee's body. Tear, tear, tear. I'm gonna tear that whole thing. So I'm gonna keep tearing to all the way at the end. About this size. Keep tearing, keep tearing. Tear, tear, tear. Okay, 
So you should have some black pieces of paper and some yellow like that. Can you see it? Okay, now you're gonna need your glue bottle, glue bottle. You mean, may need your um, mom or dad to help you with this? Because sometimes we squeeze too much and then it just like pours out too much glue. So I'm gonna show you how much glue to put on. Okay, so if you notice that your bee's body, it has letters on it. A Y, B, Y, B, Y, B, Y. That stands for the colors yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow. It's an A-B pattern. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow. That means the yellow strips of paper go on the yellow section. And when you see the B, the black pieces of paper go in that section. But first, I'm just gonna go to the first yellow section and put some glue in that section. Can you see that? Do you see how I put some glue there? Okay, well that has a Y in it, so I'm gonna get all my yellow pieces and I'm going to fill it up with my little yellow strips of paper. And I'll show you at the end when I'm done. And sometimes you're gonna need to squirt like a little bit more glue so it covers all the white spaces. Okay, so it looks like that. Do you see? Okay, now the next section has a B on it. That stands for black. So I'm gonna put some glue or have, my, have your mom or dad help you put some glue like that. And then you're gonna fill up that B section with the black pieces of paper. So go ahead. Fill it up, fill it up. And you may need to tear some more black pieces of paper later. And that's why I gave you extra. Okay, so we've got yellow and black. Now what comes next in the AB pattern? Yellow, and there's a Y there too. So I'm gonna get some of my liquid glue. Like that. And then fill it up with the yellow strips. I'm filling up all the white spaces. So that's what we're gonna do for the rest of the body. We're gonna fill it up with the strips, little strips of paper according to what letter we see. This is our yellow section. And I ran out of yellow, so I'm getting a new strip and I'm tearing it. There I go. Now I have a little bit of white space right there. So I'm actually gonna fill that up. I'll show you how. Put some more glue on there. Get a little strip of paper. Now, do you see? It's all filled up. Now we got yellow and black. What's the next one? Black. So let's get some glue on the black section. Get some black pieces and fill it up. Make sure you cover all the white spaces. And it's really starting to look like the honeybee's body, huh? Yellow and black, yellow, black, yellow, black. There's A, B patterns on everything. You can find them in nature, like on insects. You find them on candy, like candy canes. Patterns are so interesting. All right, I filled up the black section and now I'm gonna go on to the next one, which is Y for yellow. Get some glue. Put glue like that. Get some more yellow strips and stick them on. 
So some cool things about bees. Let's, let's review what we know about bees. Bees collect what from flowers? Nectar. And they carry that nectar back to the hive. And in the hive, that's where they make honey. And you know who eats the honey? They do, of course, and the baby, especially the baby bees when they're born. But you know who also eats nectar? We do. do I mean, do nectar, honey. We do. We eat the honey, don't we? The bears are, the bees are so kind to share their honey with us. The bears also like to eat the honey. They sting them when that happens because they don't like that. All right, just two more to go. We also learned that the worker bees or the honey bees are the girl bees, the boy bees. So when you see a bee on a flower outside of nature, that's not a boy bee. That's a girl bee. The boy, the boy bees, they stay inside. They're called the drones. And their job is to like help the queen, the queen bee. Now, how do bees talk to one another? How do they communicate? How do they tell each other where the best nectar is found? Do you remember? They don't talk with words, they dance. Yeah, they like, kind of like make like a figure eight and they tell the other bees where the best flowers are to get nectar. I think that's so fun that they, they dance to talk to one another. All right, KB, I'm almost done. I just have one more section to go. We can do it. Get some glue. Remember, we want it to look like this at the very, very end. So, gotta get some more yellow and stick it on. Stick, stick, stick. Now this is just the first part of the craft. The second part of the craft, we're gonna do later on Thursday, let me check. On Friday, you're gonna finish the craft. The first part is making the bee. The second part is telling some fun facts about bees and writing it out. Look, I'm all done. My hands are all sticky, but that's okay. I'll wash them later. Okay. Next, you're gonna get your bee head, the yellow circle, and you're gonna cut it out. So get your scissors and cut it out. Make sure you cut it out carefully, right on the line. Okay, should look like that a yellow circle. If you see the black lines, can you flip it this way? This is, this is the side we wanna glue the eyes on. Okay, the eyes, they're right here. Go ahead and cut those two big eyes out. I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna cut it out like that and then cut out the little circles. That's easier. Two big eyes for the bees. Now, actually, bees don't have two eyes. Do you know how many eyes a bee has? I'm gonna double check. I think it's five. How many eyes do bees have? Yes, they have five eyes. <gasps> wow, because they need, they need to have a lot of eyes to see where the nectar is. We need to have really great vision for that. Five eyes, imagine having five eyes on you. If you're two eyes here and two eyes here and one eye here, that'd be a lot of eyes. Okay, so you cut your two eyes out like that. Here's the head. And now you're gonna glue your eyes like this on the bee. Okay, so you can get your glue stick.
I'm gonna put glue on the back of the eye, just like that. And stick on my first one. like that. And then I'm going to put glue on the second eye. Like that. And stick on the other eye. So now I have two eyes. Can you glue your two eyes now on two? Should look like this. Okay. Now you're gonna get a black crayon. Black crayon. Where is my black crayon? Way down deep. My black crayon, it broke, so it's really tiny. And I'm gonna make a smile like that on the bee. Just a simple smile. Can you make a smile on your bee? Just a simple smile. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to cut out the body of the bee. Your body may still be wet with glue, but that's okay. So maybe actually you can have your mom and dad help you with this part. But what you're going to do is. You're gonna cut out the oval, the bee's body. Your scissors might get a little bit of glue on them, but that's okay. It should be dry by now. I'm gonna cut out the oval. And it looks like that. Now, I need to attach the bee's body with the bee's head. So I need you to attach it, it doesn't matter which side. Just pick a side and don't glue it like that or like that. It needs to go like right there. So I'll show you. I need you to get your liquid glue. I'm gonna do I'm going to put glue like that on the side of the body and then attach the head and press it down. Yay! It's almost done. Now I need to cut out the wing, which is this. Can you cut out your wing? Okay, everybody cut out their wing. God gave these wings to fly. Butterflies have wings, ladybugs have wings, and bees have wings. And then you're gonna attach your bee's wing like that. So I'm gonna get my liquid glue. I'm gonna put glue just on like the tip. See that? It's just on the tip. And then I'm gonna press it down right there. Like that. I didn't have to put glue over here because it wouldn't be need, it doesn't need to be glued down. So just right there, or just like that. And then the last part is the stinger. So everybody has a black square and you are actually gonna make your own stinger by drawing a triangle. So you can do it with your pencil. Go ahead and get a pencil and draw a triangle. Triangle has three sides, and three corners, and then cut it out. Make sure it's a big, a big triangle, not a little triangle. If it's too small, then it's not gonna be seen on your bee. So about that big, that big. 
pretty big. Okay, now the stinger goes right there on the bee. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue like that, like a little strip of glue at the end of the triangle. Then I'm gonna attach it at the end of the B. And now the B has a stinger. Yay! Well, we're missing one more thing, aren't we? We're missing the antennas. So bees antennas like this. Well, that I'm gonna do for you. Once I received your craft back from you, I'm gonna attach these stingers because I have the pipe cleaners in my classroom and I'll do them for you. But all you'll need to do is do the body, eyes, the head, the wing, and the stinger. Okay, so this is what it should look like at the end. If you want to take, um, pause the video so you can freeze this, go ahead. All right. And then later on Friday, you're going to write some B facts, B facts, things about bees on this piece of paper. But that will be for Friday. All you have to do today is make the B. All right, KB, we're all done. Great job. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.